Hello, it's Thursday, Thursday night. Impact is live on Impact Plus. And my friends, we are live on YouTube. Of course, we're not live, but we're on YouTube. It's Thursday. Um, not for me, it's Tuesday the 10th of the night. You guys will be seeing this. This shows you how ahead I am. Um, you'll be seeing this on the 26th. So you'll be seeing this on the 26th. I'm recording this on the 10th. Um, because. Oh no, you won't. You'll be seeing this later than that, because... Uh, hold on a minute. You'll be seeing this on the 3rd. It's October! Ha ha! That's how far ahead I am of recording at the moment. Um, which makes a change for me. I'm normally behind. In a push about some power wrestling and a little heat, Rick Rizzo, Moose, Drago and Ace Austin defeat David Starr, Fal Falabar, Petey Williams and Willie Mack in 756, when Moose defeat David Starr by playing with a game breaker, 35 E+. Plus. We've got 996 people at the San Antonio Junction rooms tonight in San Antonio, Texas. Ace Austin, 26. Um, Drago, 32. Moose, 37. Rick Raju, 33. Willie Mack, 36. Pete Williams, 38. Fellow Bar, 33. David Starr, 34. No working room. So Ace Austin's not suited to going. Have I still not do? No, I don't dealt with Drake Chris. The reason being is I'm hoping they'll get used to their gimmicks and get better with them. In a poor pre-show match, Scarlett Bordeaux makes her return to Impact Wrestling alongside Madison Rain, Jordan Gates, and April Brooks. And they defeat um, Havoc Ohio, Kira Hogan, Michelle Morgan, and Ty Valkyrie in 753 when April Brooks defeat Ty Valkyrie by pinball with Shinarara. April Brooks and Charles Vinox, April Brooks 53, Jordan Grace 27, Madison Rain 42, Scarlett 20, Ty Valkyrie 38, Michelle Morgan 30, Kira Hogan 31, Havoc 40. Uh, no work groups. 41D. In a terrible feature match, Sue Young and the Undead Made Honor defeat Tess Blanche and Talon Dashwood in 745 when Sue Young defeat Tess and Blanche by pulling the panic switch following interference by from Tower Valkyrie. Talon Dashwood 41, Tess Blanche 27, the Undead Made Honor 26, Sue Young 27, no work of Rose 33 E. In a preacher bout of decent wrestling, but I'm a cheat, opening a third eye for Matt Sidow as he defeats Ken to an 804. By pin for the Here You Go Driver. Mass Idol 44, Kenta 46. Kenta in performance. I forgot to bring in a better announcer. I'll be doing that ahead in next week's episode. 4016. Nice. In a preacher, I do some similar much heat. Killer Cross and Tetsu and Naito defeat TJ Perkins and Rich Swan in 829. And Tetsu and Naito defeat TJ Perkins by pin the Stardust Press. Uh, Rich Swan 47, TJ Perkins 47, Naito 50, Killer Cross 30. TJ Perkins performance. 46D. Nice. And then our final match of the night, because Pac isn't here tonight, um, I could have put Will Ospreay against Bill Goldberg and then had him squash, but I wasn't going to do that. So I invited Carlos Collide to come and improve him, prove himself to Impact Wrestling. And then the future had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Will Ospreay defeated Carlos Cologne by Pinfall the Essex Destroyer. Carlos Cologne Jr., 42. Will Ospreay, 52. I spit in the faces of the people who are not cool. And he improves in technical. I don't know whether he's going to be coming back, but whenever we're in San Antonio, Texas, and we need a one night only guy, we might bring him in. But yes, we open up the night with AJ Styles and Nick Nemeth, who I announced last, on the last episode that they'll be coming back after both of them walking out on WWE. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. It was just that they've had a, um, something to do. They had a falling out with Vince McMahon and, and had quit. That is all I got from the information. Of that, so there we go. That's all we got from that. So uh, I know as much as you know now, or you know as much as I know. The rest of it is within WWE, and probably if you look for it, you know, if we look for it, we'll probably find in real life, you probably find a dirt sheet on what actually happened from some moles who passed it on to Dave Mount. So there we go. <laughs> he gets 60C, which is good. So AJ comes in and goes, I'm back in the house for AJ. Did build. You see, Vince, you was being an asshole to all your work, and I had to. I had it and walked. When I did, I thought I was going to stay away out of wrestling for good. Then Goldberg, Sting, and Don Callis called me and said, "Come back to Impact. Right? Come back to Impact. Come, come back to Impact. Come back home." AJ Styles, the face of TNA, sorry, Impact. For many years, I am back to show I have not lost it. And it comes out and goes, AJ Styles, look at you. Look like you've lost your mind for this loser company again. 
The only reason I'm here is because this company was the only one who contacted me. You see, yes, this is the house AJ built, but that was a long time ago. 2013 was the last time he was here every week, and you come back in a hero? He's not your hero. He quit because his money changed, and he threw his toys out of the pram. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, many people say that the last appearance of AJ Styles was January 2014. That was taped in December of 2013. Therefore, his last full-time appearance with TNA Wrestling was in 2013. Anyone who wants to argue with me, Google it. I know TNA Wrestling, I know TNA Wrestling better than I know any other wrestling company. Because TNA Wrestling was the company that got me into wrestling. So I know more about them than most companies. But I know a bit about WWE and stuff after recent research. So did, so did you. That's why you left Vince when he sent you to NXT for a few weeks. With this Nick and AJ brawl in the ring, security come out and split them up. Um, basically I wanted to give it a reason, but yeah, 60C, not bad. Um, in a poor match, OVE, Madman Fulton, Dave Chris and Jake Chris defeated the Rascals, Trey Rents and Dez in 658 when Madman Fulton defeated Rents by pinfall. Dez 46, Rents 38, Trey 31, Drake Chris 42, Dave Chris 41, Madman Fulton 32. No, we're going to, shit, I forgot to do the world titles angle. No. We've got too many storylines going on for a short show, so... You know, some weeks we're going to have to miss out on angles and do it in matches. I think we've done it in a match, actually. In a poor match, Awesome Kong defeated Rosemary in 732 by Pimpley and Pat Buster. Rosemary 35, Awesome Kong 40. She's returned thanks to AEW's working agreement with Impact Wrestling. Awesome Kong is back. 39D minus. And then Melissa Santos is interviewing Journey Impact backstage. He's like, Jay, at least you said my shoulders were up and given me my rematch of Sin. As Sin, I'll win my match with Jay. And show show you how I am the face of Impact, not the new and returning stars. So yeah, we've got that booked in at Sin. We've got some good matches at Sin, actually. Um, some more big matches are going to be added to Sin over to the course of the next few hours. And next week, AJ and Dol Nick Nemeth will probably get caught on. But yeah, in a about in a about like decent wrestling with a machine, Michael Alvin defeated Eli Drake in 803 by pinfall the big Mike Flow, Fly Flow. Eli Drake 42, Michael Algon 44, Eli Drake in performance. 43D, nice. And then Matt and Nick are in the back and they're like, look at us, dual champions. Now we've been told we can't put our hands on Penton and Phoenix, but they said nothing about talking about them, did they? In two weeks of sin, we're going to retain both titles. And Nick goes, well said, my bro. Well said, Matt. Lucha Brothers, over the past year, we've met many times this year. This time will be one of the most brutal matches we have. We've had enough of you guys fighting us. And this time it will end. Of course it won't because it will end at Bound for Glory. Just so. 56C minus. And then Teacher Perkins in the back. And he sat, you know, he's just, he sat in like a room, dark room. And he's just asked the camera. And he's like, Will, since coming here from New Japan, you've been an asshole. If you should get the title off my shoulders, you're not going to. You're not going to. You're not going to get... Going to this title is staying right here. As sin, it will. As sin will, it's going to be a repeat of fully loaded. Your winner and store X division champion, T J Perkins. P90 minus from T J. In a decent match, the Lucha Bros defeat LAX and the Dean is in 801 when Pentagon Jr. defeat Jake Dino by filming the Lala Rise. Santina 36, 38, Ortiz 37. Ray Finney 65, Pentagon Jr. 68, Jake Dean 31, Cody Dean 34. No work for it, Jake Dean is not suited to gimmick, whatever. So, yeah, um, because of the opening match, we had, um, you know, mixed up with the tag team division, but that's not an issue. I fixed it. Good old me. In about, in a decent match, Robin Dan defeated Johnny Impact in 755 by Pim for the five star Fog Slash, following interference on Jay Lethal. Uh, Johnny Impact 66, Warren down 40, no work from his 57C minus. And then Tess is in the back, he's like, I stand here as Knockouts champion. I've been going over the world showing the world how cool the Knockouts are still. Tyre, you want another match? You already got it. Got it. I'm going to kick your ass, I'm going to kick your ass and prove why you're no longer the champion. So yeah, that's also booked in. Tyre Valka versus Tessa Blanchard at Sin. 29E. Not bad. Yeah, here you go. This is the storyline for the world title. As I said, some weeks a certain storyline won't get 
given an angle. They don't happen in a match because of the redundance of the storylines. We have to think. Oh dear, Matt Jackson sustained a dislocated finger. In these match, Magnus and the Young Bucks defeat Callahan in the North in 855 when Magnus defeat Ethan Page by Pinnacle the Spine Shaker. Um, Matt Jackson 59, Nick Jackson 59, Magnus 49, Sammy Callahan 53, Josh Alexander 33, and Ethan Page 33. No work improvements. Thank you, Scott Demore. We know. Well, I don't care because Ethan Page is a brilliant. If you haven't seen it, why the hell is Christian Cage on screen? Because he's not meant to be. If you want to watch a great vlog about it, the backstage stuff at indie shows and at Impact, go to just go search on YouTube Ethan Page. Brilliant. I watch it. It's good fun. I came to Impact for glory and I help and to help this company out. Out comes Cage and he's been on my back every week. I've had it with him coming out and attacking me. You see, Cage at Sin, it's going to be me versus you. And I'm going to spare you. You want to bring your friend for some protection? Fine. But I'm going to destroy him too. Now the reason I said that is I'm intrigued if I can get Adam Cooperland to join, aka Edge, Impact, and come out and manage his friend Christian Cage as a manager on a full-time heel. In Impact, because that was the that's the plan of bringing Cage back to get Adam Coopland in. There's also rumours of Bret Hart joining, as well. That is no. That is, I don't know why the dirt sheets are turned on. I'm going to need to turn them off. I hate the I hate looking at the dirt sheets. It's only three B minus. Not the best, but we accept it. In a decent match, Kenny Omega defeated Maxwell Jacob Ferdinand in 809 by pinfall of V Trigger. Kenny Omega 64, MJF 36. No work permits for 4 C minus. In a mixed room short match, Drew Bennett defeated Jay Lethal in 504 by Pin of the Spine Buster full interference with Johnny Impact. Stu Bennett 51, Lethal 65, no work for a 61C. And then Sting and Goldberg are backstage and they've got CM Punk and Chris Jericho in the office. And Sting's like, Me and Goldberg invite you here to sign this contract ahead of your match in two weeks. And, Gold and Goldberg goes, When you sign this contract, Impact will not be liable to you what happens to you, what happens to you on that night. They both sign. They both sign the contract. We get up to leave and get chest to chest. No fighting, thanks. Leave it till you get in that ring. Thank you. And they basically just walk out without a problem at that point. Six nine C plus. In about a good wrestling, good heat and decent wrestling. Cody Rhodes defeated John Moxley in eight nineteen by pinball the silver spoon DDT. Cody Rhodes forty nine. John sixty seven. No worker in sixty one C. Your main event tonight will be CM Punk, Dave Bautista and AJ Styles taking on the team of Chris Jericho, Nick Nemeth and Christian Cage. If you want to see the AJ Styles vs Chris Jericho feud you're expecting, please join us in 2014 WWE Weekly on Monday and Tuesdays for Smackdown and Raw where that storyline is happening. Cheap plug for another series I'm doing. In about Red Fantasy in Great Wrestling, Chris Jericho, Nick Nemeth and Christian Cage Defeat Dave Bautista, CM Punk, and AJ Styles in 2025 when Christian Cage defeat AJ Styles by Pin for the Upper Turp. AJ Styles 72, Punk 78, Batista 54, Cage 56, Nick Nemeth 60, Trish Joko 72. CM Punk and performance, Nick Nemeth and Rumble flying and performance, Joko and Rumble flying and performance. That is the end of the night's show. We're going to end the show there. But 63C increased our popularity in 45 regions. Later on, I'll see you again next week for another edition of Impact Wrestling Weekly, episode number six. We'll see you guys then.